So hello everyone, this is Dr. Suresh and in this video we'll talk we'll be talking about catabolic fates of pyruvate and oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate. Okay, which is a connecting link reaction between glycolysis and TCA cycle. So catabolic fates of pyruvate uh, in the picture you can see here glucose converting into pyruvate which is the end product of uh, glycolysis and this pyruvate is a source of various substrates. Okay, so when it is undergoing transamination that means when you add amino group to pyruvate it can be converted and this alanine will be useful in protein synthesis okay and in case of aerobic conditions okay by removing the co2 it will be converted into acetyl coa and enters into citric acid cycle and sequential removal of carbons of the which is a uh, carbons which will be carrying from the glucose okay here glucose will be having six carbons it is a three carbon Okay, finally here again it will be removing 2 CO2 and again here 4 CO2, 4 plus 2, 6 carbons, whatever the carbons from the glucose will be sequentially removed by oxidation of glucose by a glycolysis and TCA cycle. Okay, in the absence of oxygen, it will be converted to lactate, okay, in vigorously contracting muscles and erythrocytes in retina. Okay, and carboxylation, when you add one carboxylic group to pyruvate it will be converted to oxaloid state and this oxaloid state will be converting into phosphoenol pyruvate and useful substance for gluconeogenesis so these are all the possible fates of pyruvate okay these are all the possible fates okay Py from pyruvate you can make alanine okay which is a uh, amino acid uh, for protein synthesis okay and when in presence of uh, oxygen it undergoes sequential oxidation to remove all the carbons okay to form a uh, 4 co2 and water molecule via acetic acid cycle and produce reducing equivalents and in absence of oxygen it converted to lactate and in case of carboxylation when you are adding carboxylic group it will be converted to oxaloid state again this oxaloid state acting as a source of uh, gluconeogenesis via converting phosphoenol pyruvate okay and we'll discuss in detail about this uh, the role of oxaloid state and phosphoenol pyruvate uh, in uh, glucose synthesis so next is oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate okay what do you mean by oxidative decarbox that means here oxidation is also takes place decarboxylation also takes place okay and how the three carbon pyruvate is converting to two carbon acetyl coa here pyruvate is a three carbon substance and acetyl coa is a two carbon okay so that means there is a removal of co2 actually two pyruvate molecules will be produced at the end of glycolysis so two molecules of pyruvate actually to form two molecules of acetyl coa that means two co2 will be removed okay so actually six carbons converted to three carbons right so out of this six minus two you will be having four carbons which are originally carrying from the glucose and these four carbons will be sequentially removed via citric acid cycle so what are the mechanism of this oxidative decarboxylation we will see pyruvate is converted to acetyl coa via oxidative decarboxylation in mitochondria okay uh, irreversible reaction catalyzed by multi enzyme complex pyruvate dehydrogenase see here this oxidative decarboxylation mediated by enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase it is not though it is a single enzyme okay it is having a multi enzymatic function five enzymatic functions included here and it require five coenzymes so pdh is a good example for multi enzyme complex okay though you are naming a single enzyme it is carrying five different functions okay pyruvate dehydrogenase require five coenzymes so what are they thymine so in our previous videos we have discussed uh, water soluble vitamins will be mainly acting as a coenzymes so the coenzymes required for pdh are thymine that is vitamin b1 uh, next is uh, fad that is b2 NAD that is B3 and coenzyme that is B5 and one more is lipoic acid. So all these five coenzymes required for activity of pyruvate dehydrogenase to takes place. Okay, so see here the reaction pyruvate converted to acetyl coa as I said, where there is a production of uh, reducing equivalents also. NAD is converted to NADH plus H plus. So here two NADs will be converted to two NADH H plus and two CO2 molecules will be removed. You see here. 1, 2, 3 carbons are there. In acetyl coa there are 2 carbons only. Okay, so that means sequential removal of carbon. And the uh, coenzymes required thymine pyrophosphate, lipoate, coASH, FAD, and NAD we have already mentioned. 5 coenzymes. So when you talk about the energetics of this particular reaction, oxidative decarboxylation, so one molecule of NADH is producing each molecule of pyruvate. Okay, so that means 2 pyruvates are there. 
so 2 NADH so results to 2.5 ATPs into 2 is equal to 5 ATPs otherwise new calculation 6 ATPs that means 3 into 2 so this way this reaction is also pro producing some amount of energy so that's all about catabolic fates of uh, pyruvate and uh, the mechanism of oxidative decarboxylation thanks for listening thank you